This is Field Sports Channel News. Celebrity bushcrafter Bear Grylls has screwed up. Knife manufacturer Gerber sells his Priorities of Survival pocket guide alongside a range of Bear Grylls branded knives and the guide has a section on snaring. Even though snaring is legal and widespread, animal rights organisation The League Against Cruel Sports has successfully forced Gerber to force Grylls to remove the snaring section from his book. Happily, you can still watch Bear's snaring tips on YouTube. West Rise School in East Sussex has faced off criticism from the Daily Mail to take its kids shooting once again. Despite a romp through the newspaper two years ago when they first held the day, a team from Basque showed children and teachers how to shoot, the basics of firearm regulation and safety, and introduced them to ferrets. The award-winning state school has its own farm with goats, water buffalo, chickens and lambs. A fox has trapped eight people in a Cambridgeshire sports club. The vicious animal prevented the people from leaving Alkenbury Sports and Social Club, attacking them every time they tried. The fox was eventually caught and destroyed. Thanks to RJ Betts for spotting this story. A country girl left partially paralysed by Lyme disease is appealing to help buy a special wheelchair. Wendy Fox suffered a brain and spinal cord swelling caused by Lyme disease in 2001. She was left partially sighted and paralysed from the waist down. She is a tireless worker for Lyme disease charities. She had been using an NHS power chair, but her spine is degenerating, so she needs a new chair that will cost around £22,000. Find out more about the project to get Wendy outdoors at gogetfunding.com slash get hyphen Wendy hyphen outdoors. And finally, who nicked the knickers? Residents of Glen Esk in Scotland now know where their missing undies have gone. An enterprising pair of red kites have been stealing pants and socks to build their nests. You are now up to date with Field Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts.